This little LoRa device will allow you to send text messages even if you don't have Wi-Fi or cell service. LoRa stands for Long Range Radio. And this is a great way to send text messages if you're out of cell range or you're in a country where you don't have mobile phone service. It's perfect for emergency situations when the cell towers are down or if you're hiking in a remote area that doesn't have cell coverage or you're traveling in another country and you don't have a SIM card. Hi, my name is Hugh, and in this video, I'll show you how this little device works, the benefits and downsides, and why everyone in your neighborhood should probably have two of these. All right, just real quick before I get started, I bought these devices with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. I honestly wanted to find out how well these work. This is the LilyGo LoRa 32, and it connects to your phone via Bluetooth, and you can send messages via the Meshtastic app that you download for free. Like I mentioned before, it sends text messages through simple radio waves and it operates on a frequency that you don't need a license to use. The beauty of this device is that it creates a mesh network, so it transmits your message across multiple devices until it gets to the person that you're communicating with. And that person could be further away than you could directly communicate with them, but because of the mesh network, it extends your range. Now your messages are encrypted so nobody along the way can read them and you can even set up your own private channels so your messages will only go out to your channel. This device also uses very little power so you can run this on a small solar panel with a battery and just stick it somewhere and it'll keep running. Alright, I'm sure that sounds great but there's a big downside to this particular device, the LoRa 32. Uh, the fact is that you have to put it together. You have to solder on the board, you have to solder on the connections, you have to buy your own battery, and then you have to find your own case. So if you add those things on, um, the price can get much more expensive, and it could be potentially more than if you bought a ready-made kit. And that's where this guy comes in. This is the LilyGo T Echo, and I really like this device. It has a nice little screen on, on here. This is that um, digital paper screen and uh, this connects to your phone via Bluetooth and you can use the Meshtastic app to control it. Now I bought this one for about $55 and it worked right out of the box. Uh, there are alternatives to Meshtastic but I like Meshtastic because they're open source, they're free and they update frequently. In order to update the firmware on this you just plug this into your laptop it'll show up like a external drive you just drag the new firmware a file into this device and then it'll update, restart, and then you have the next firmware version. A bit of a downside to Meshtastic is that it's completely volunteer supported. So it doesn't really have the polish of a commercial product. So some things are a little janky, but uh, once you get it working, it works really well. Now you're probably wondering what kind of range do these things have? Well, between devices uh, in a crowded urban area, you'll probably get less than two miles maybe closer to one mile depending on the interference. If you're in a more open rural area and you have line of sight with the radios, then you could get multiple miles, maybe five, six miles. And remember, if there are any devices in between you and the person you're communicating with, it'll extend the range because of the mesh networking. So that's why it's really useful to have many people in your area using these devices because it creates a bigger network and you can send your text messages further. And if you're really clever about it, you might even be able to get away without a phone plan. You could just use one of these for text messaging, and then you could hook up to your local Wi-Fi at your home or office in order to use calling or any other apps on your phone. As you can probably tell, there are so many other applications that you could use this for, so there are basically no downsides to getting one of these devices. And one final tip, if you're going to buy one of these T-Echo devices, you can buy one of these older camera cases for those old school cameras, and they fit perfectly in there, and it'll protect the screen as well as the electronics. Check out the description below to find links to all of the resources mentioned in this video. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this, and share this video with somebody who would benefit from it. Thanks for watching.